uh, from the Wishing Acre. Brielle and I will be showing you today how to do a powdered sugar roll treatment and a mite check. Alright, so for today I'm just going to tell you the supplies that we're going to need to go into our beehive. So obviously first you're going to have a, our smoker. I'm going to show you how to light that smoker today. Hopefully we'll be able to get that going. Sometimes I have a little trouble, but we'll see what we can do. You're going to need a little bucket of water that has some soap in it, just a drop um, of dishwashing soap. So that's in there, and we're going to show you what we're going to do with that um, in a little while. I just have a container with some dry paper towels that we're going to just need to wipe things off. Um, obviously our matches to light our smoker, our bee gloves um, to obviously protect ourselves. And we're going to need a jar. This is actually a sprouting jar. Um, you can use some hardware cloth too and cut a piece, but I just figured I'm going to try this today because it looks very similar to what I used last time. Um, we're going to see if, if it'll work today for the mite check. All right, so you're going to want about a heaping tablespoon of powdered sugar into this jar. And you're just going to be able to put the bees in there. You're going to put a half a cup of bees in there and you're going to do roll them around and then you're going to shake them vigorously and you're going to need this kind of bucket, which is just a plain old, you know, obviously it's my dishwasher pack empty, but you want it to be white or lighter in color because you're going to shake the mites hopefully into there and you're going to do your mite check, your mite count on there. I already have a little bug in there, so anyways. Um, so we're going to need one of those. You're going to need your half cup measure. Make sure it's a half cup measure because um, that gives you approximately 300 bees. They've done studies and that gives you approximately 300 bees that you're going to check with. Um, then you, to do the powder sugar treatment, we're going to take a little sifter. I've already put some powder sugar in here and I have some extra here in a jar just in case I run out. And so we're going to show you how to do all this, but these are the supplies you need before you start. And I have a hive inspection bee log that uh, helps me so that I can write some of this stuff down before I leave the hive. Sometimes I forget, but it's good to know last time you were in there, the date that you went in there, what the conditions were. Just really, really helpful so that you can kind of keep track of your hive. And if you have more than one hive, you have to number them and just helps you to be a better beekeeper and more organized. So, all right. So first thing we're going to do is try and light our smoker. So what I've done is put a mixture of things in here, uh, some sticks and I have a pine cone in here and some pine needles and straw and then you want something more um, that's going to be more of a long burn thing so I have a, pieces of thicker cardboard and boxes that I have in here so hopefully we can get this going and then we're going to uh, see if we can keep it going. All right so first we have to take off the top because this is how you stop your smoker by putting your cork in there. So first you're gonna just try and get this lit. Sometimes if it's real windy it's super tricky to get your smoker going. So you just got to be really persistent and you just want to keep kind of pumping it a little bit. Mine's a little worn out my smoker so want to keep pumping it. This will get hot so be really careful once you get your smoker going. It will be hot and I need to try and get that on there better. That's why it helps if you have <laughs> newer equipment but you know lots of kids you don't always have money to buy a new one. Okay, so you want to just keep pumping it vigorously. You want a good white smoke. Okay, that's pretty good. We want it to keep going. So we're just going to give it a few minutes of getting going here. Hopefully it'll... You want it to be going like that when you go into your beehive. And even while you're inspecting your beehive, you want to give it a couple pumps even if you don't use it because it will stop burning. I've had to actually relight them in the middle of an inspection. So we're just gonna see if this is gonna keep going for us. Looks like it's going pretty good. Sorry, Brill, smoking out there. 
All right, I'm just gonna move that over here now. Okay, so the first thing we're do gonna do is crack our top off. Now we did do a, another inspection between the last one and this one, so we did add a super and another bee box. So I'm gonna check these girls out, see how they're doing, see if they're making any honey. See if we can find the queen. Now, so the activity on the front of the hive looks pretty good. There's bees coming in and out, having pollen, bringing pollen in. It's our usually good signs we want to look for. So we're doing an inspection. I haven't been in here in too many weeks, so they're going to have propolis all this shut on me. So let's see. First, I'm going to check and see if there's any honey up here. Doesn't look like it. Not yet. But I'm going to do this before they get too mad. Not me. Again, they're going to be a little sticky because I haven't been in here in a few weeks. So see, nothing on there yet. So this is my super. So you just want to check and make sure they... Doesn't look like they're putting too much honey up here yet. So I'm not sure if they're putting any up here at all yet. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. All right, so the activity doesn't look very much up here, so we're going to go into the next box. Oop. I guess that's fine there. All right, so I'm going to put this, this back on there. Make sure the front to the front. Now when you go into the bottom box, sometimes they let you know that they don't like it when you pop the top. Do you want to give my smoker a little bit of pump there? This box is my queen excluder. I think I'm actually gonna put the honey super over here for a minute. So we're gonna take the queen excluder off. Give a little smoked underneath. We'll do it again. Try to always kind of go sideways instead of popping up like this because otherwise some of your bee equipment could fall apart. So that's what the queen excluder looks like. And we put that in just so that the queen doesn't get it up into our honey. Okay, so we're gonna take one of the sidebars off first. We have really propolis to shut. Okay. I'm pretty happy right now. I'm not gonna be happy when I start pulling them out though. 
All right, so we're just gonna bring that, we're gonna check always for our queen, which I don't see. So we're gonna set that bar just off to the side because we need space to move our bars around. Woo. They're pretty happy today because it's nice though. So again, we're gonna check first for our queen. Oh, there's a lot of honey. Don't see the queen in here. But not when you smoke, so what they do, you see a couple of these girls are actually kind of going in there, you see them, they're, they honey load, they sugar load. Because with the smoke, they think that's what they gotta do, that's actually how it slows them down a little. So, they're busy doing that right now in this one. So, as long as I'm sure that the queen is not on this one, actually test for the mites here so what I'm first gonna try and do is kind of bang some of the bees in here so they're gonna fly around and then I'm gonna try and scoop my bees up into my into my quarter cup measure or half cup measure as fast as I can so do that first. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to gently swirl them around like this. Kind of get them in there. Okay. And then, you know, they get busy grooming each other. Just a little gentle. Okay, and so then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna shake them gently. A little bit harder, you might lose a few of your bees. But what you're doing is trying to get a mic count. So I'm shaking them into this white bucket. Okay. All right, and the ones that <laughs> you had, you can just kind of put towards the entrance of your hive. And they'll clean themselves off and they'll come back in. Okay, so, so far, I only see one, one mite in there. We'll see here once the bees get out of it, but so far I see one mite. So, I don't know if Brielle can show you that better on the picture. And now that we can efficiently tick them all off, <laughs> we're gonna keep going in here and see if we can see our queen. And then we're gonna start dusting them with we're gonna look for brood pattern and eggs and larva. See what we can see. There's some cup brood and some larva. I don't want to take this off here yet though because I don't know if my queen's on here. You 
want to look for deformed bees, any kind of wing disease, um, anything that just looks suspicious. Look for your queen. Do not see her on here, so. Maybe Braille, can you do the, the powdered sugar? Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up and Braille's just gonna, just a tap, not, not shake it, just, just tap it on the side. There you go. A little bit more. Okay, on that side. Maybe get it a little closer. We do this so that you gotta give that a little bit more right there. They will groom each other and get the help get the mites off each other as a preventative measure. But from my container, it didn't look like I had too bad a problem in here. But it has. Really funky. Yeah, sometimes you smush a bee. There's really funky uh, comb in here. I'm trying to see if I see my queen. I see pollen. I see. I'm checking for eggs and larva. I'm checking to see if the Larva look dry or moist, the ones that I can see. And I have capped brood. Do not see the queen on that side. I don't think I see the queen on this side. Do you see her, Braille? No. Alright, so powder sugar these guys. So I'm trying this because I actually watched somebody else and he said he did this with his and he has not had a mite problem so I thought well experienced beekeepers I'm, whoops, I've only done this for three years I'm gonna listen to the people who have done it more than me. They don't seem to like it very much. There's white bees flying around everywhere. All right. They're fanning them. 
themselves. There's one on my... <laughs> Oh, this is much better padding. Let's see if the queen's on here. I'm sorry, girls. Let's see on that side. Is that big one in drone? Are you helping me look real? Yeah, is that big one in drone? Uh, yeah, looks like it. She has more of an elongated abdomen. She might not be in this box. She could be down below. I don't see her on this side. All right, so go ahead. And... It's really windy today. A little bit. We're kind of fighting that a little bit. If you put the powdered sugar more on the bottom when you're doing it in there, you see how it's on the side? Oh, All right, try again. This side. Kind of hard to do one handed by yourself, so probably best if you have a helper you can suit up with you. Obviously, you know, they don't like being coated in sugar. Okay, so you kind of get the gist. Oh, this brood pattern is beautiful on this one. You can see that on both sides. Wow, very nice. This is good brood pattern here. This is what you want to see. So let's see. You can see Queenie on this one. Because we don't want to shake her off. Is she on the bottom anywhere, Brielle? No, not Here. on the bottom. doing so good getting that smoker so for the sake of time we don't want to leave our beehive open so much for the sake of time we're gonna just keep forging ahead and hope they don't get too mad at me which I think they already are it has a weird shape okay, again so we're gonna check for our queen before we set this down Look, it looks like a word. Yeah, sometimes they M there. do some pretty weird comb patterns. They like pop out. From you see the queen anywhere, bro? No. Okay, so we're gonna, just gonna set that to the side. You'll notice it's a little white just because some of the powdered sugar came down here. That's the one thing that I noticed between the top bars and the the difference between the top bars and the Langstroth is the bees stay a lot calmer in the 
top bar than they do when you crack these Langstroth hives open. It is much more of a gentler beekeeping, which I like. They don't get quite so mad. Again, checking for my queen always first off. Brielle's helping me. Checking for that queen. I have a See a little bit of brood in this one. All right, so we'll give it a shake. shook her but that's her right there as long as we know she's in there that's good she's good okay shake it's okay they'll clean her off I just want to make sure I don't drop her yeah she's right there she's right there nice beauty she looks good and I just wanted to make sure she was in there so now that I know she's she's good now we'll push it over here so we can do the other ones I didn't notice her until she was full of powdered sugar. Then she stood out. Okay, so I know I saw my queen, so I'm just gonna check brood pattern in these and then shake quick, because we don't we've already been in the hive pretty long, so we don't want to keep the hive open any longer than what we have to. That's just a good rule of thumb. We don't want to make them angry, we just want to try and help them. That's our jobs job as a beekeeper. Help not hurt. I'm trying to see this one guy I'm so jealous he kept his bee he keeps his beehives though for years I'm like oh my gosh I haven't even been able to keep mine alive. This is the first year I kept them through the winter but the last two years I haven't even kept them alive through the winter. The winters have been terrible. Okay, and I just kind of scrape that down into there for them. Get all that honey. All right. Check the brood pattern again. Doesn't look like there's much of... That must be why she's down here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to switch around the, the boxes now that she... Shake it. Now that she's laid so much in the top box, I'm going to switch the boxes around. I'm gonna make this box here be the top box, and then let the top box be the bottom box. Okay, try and keep moving quickly. Since we already know where our queen is, Like sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, why do I keep beekeeping? Because I'm so busy, all these kids, all this stuff. I don't have time for it. But then I get out there in the beehive. I get out in the beehive and then I miss them. Like I, I miss just the smell even of the beehive. It has a, just such a sweet smell. I can't even describe it. Only another beekeeper knows. But like it even gets on your hands and it stays on your hands the whole rest of the day. And is there any more in your jar? No. Okay, well, we'll just do our best. We only have a couple more jars. Just 
maybe a little bit lighter, maybe. Let's see. Let me just do our best. Anyways, be keeping us addictive. There's so much uncapped fruit in here. It looks awesome. Okay. They fit this comb out nice. So in my Langstroth, I do some preformed pour out. And then these ones, they you can see they built their own comb out. We're all out. So, okay. That's fine. today so everything's getting a little sticky. It's okay, we only need a little. Okay, want to do up here? All right, all right, we'll just stick it back in there, no biggie. There's some bees in here. my smoker working, which I can't get it working very good. I like smoking. Back in. I'm settling down, but... Now I'm going to want to change this box. before they all start going on the side of this one. So our weather has been really bad. So 
which somewhat explains why there's a lack of honey in here. So I'm going to leave my super on. It's going to kind of scrape the girls off. I don't want to kill them. They'll find the hive. They'll find the inside of the hive. So now I have my queen excluder back on. Now the top has become the bottom. The bottom has become the top. All right, I hope that was helpful for you in uh, beekeeping. And if you have any questions, that you can put them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that notification, that subscription button, and hit the like too if you like our videos. It's always nice to know that you're liking what we're doing here. And I hope that we see you real soon. And don't forget to be happy and be kind.